In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. Praise be to God, Lord of the universe. He's the one and only God, the absolute God. Never did he beget, nor was he begotten. None equals him. None equals him. O people of the scripture, let us come to a logical agreement between us and you that we shall not worship except God, that we never idolize any human beings beside God. If you turn away, then bear witness that we are submitters. If you refuse to accept this invitation, then bear witness that we only submit to the Lord of the universe, the creator of all things. O children of Adam, our God is one and the same God. There is no other God beside God. And those who are tearing us into pieces between religions, sects, and denominations do not belong with God. They belong with Satan. The Quran, the whole Quran, and nothing but the Quran, was sent down through Prophet Muhammad, the Gentile prophet who is prophesied in the Torah and the Gospel, the one who is the seal of the prophets, the Khatam al Nabiyyin. If we go to Surah 17, verse number 46, we find that this is the only place in the Quran, in the entire Quran, this is the only place that Al Quran al Wahdahu is mentioned. Quran alone, nothing else. Quran alone is only mentioned in the entire Quran just once. And Surah 17, verse number 46, by adding the Surah, the number, and the verse number, we get 63. And Prophet Muhammad lived 63 years. Prophet Muhammad, who lived 63 years, delivered the Quran, the whole Quran, and nothing but the Quran, al quran Wahdahu. Nothing else. Let us go to Surah 6, verse number 19. Whose testimony is the greatest? Whose words are over and above all other words? Obviously, the word of God. Allah. Obviously, the word of God is over and above all other words. Here, Prophet Muhammad is talking. He, God, is the witness between me and you that this Quran has been inspired to me to preach it to you and whomever it reaches. This Quran, Hadha al-Quran, nothing else. This is Prophet Muhammad talking. He says, God is the witness between me and you that this Quran has been inspired to me, nothing else, to preach it to you and whomever it reaches. Indeed, you bear witness that there are other gods beside God. Indeed, you bear witness that there are other writings beside this Quran. Say, I do not testify as you do. There is only one God and I disown your idolatry. There is only one source, the Quran, and I disown your idolatry. This verse is talking about scripture. It talks about the Quran. This Quran has been inspired to me to preach it to you and whomever. Nothing else to preach it to you. Only Quran. Let us go to uh, verse number 114. In the same surah, the verse number is 114, and that's the number of the surahs in the Quran, number of the chapters in the Quran. Shall I seek other than God as a source of law? 
when he has revealed to you this book fully detailed shall I seek other than God as a source of law you go to chapter 42 verse number 21 uh, almighty God says they, they follow the scholars who decree for them religious laws never authorized by God chapter 42 verse number 21 you go to chapter 9 verse number 31 you see they're basically the same thing they're following the religious scholars instead of following God they have placed the, the what religious scholars say over and above the word of God those who are sincere they will understand and appreciate the magnificence of these straightforward verses Almighty God says in Surah 3 verse number 7 that the essence of this scripture is muhkamat, it is straightforward verses. These verses are clear. How could anybody misunderstand these verses? Shall I seek other than God as a source of law? Shall I, shall I, shall I seek uh, the, the, the ayatollahs as a source? When Almighty God has given me this Quran fully detailed, those who receive the scripture recognize that it has been revealed from your Lord truthfully, you shall not harbor any doubt. The next verse says, The word of your Lord is complete in truth and justice. Nothing shall abrogate his words. He is the hearer, the omniscient. Let us go to chapter 18, verse 27. We, we see the same exact thing. You shall recite what is revealed to you of your Lord's scripture, the Quran. You shall recite what is revealed to you of your Lord's scripture. Nothing shall abrogate his words and you shall not find any other source beside it. Is there any ambiguity? Is there any ambiguity in these verses? Aren't they straightforward? The Quran, the whole Quran and nothing but the Quran was sent down through Prophet Muhammad. Those who uh, act as if they have respect for the Prophet Muhammad, why don't they have respect for the word of God that was revealed through Prophet Muhammad? Because the Quran, the whole Quran, and nothing but the Quran was revealed through Prophet Muhammad. Now, let us go to verse number 38. Almighty God says nothing is left out of this book. Nothing is left out of this book. All the creatures on earth and all the birds that fly with wings are communities like you. We did not leave anything out of this book. We did not leave anything out of this book. To your Lord, to the Lord, all these creatures will be summoned. We shall be summoned before Almighty God. We shall be questioned. We shall be questioned. Ma farratna fil kitab min this statement that we did not leave anything out of this book is made of 19 Arabic letters. What is so incredible, if we place the geometrical value, the numerical value of every letter in this statement side by side, we get a large number that is multiple of 19. Almighty God says we have not left anything out of this Quran. My intention, God willing, in this video presentation is to uh, present to you a fact that proves 
beyond the shadow of doubt that number one God has not left anything out of this book and number two that this Quran could not possibly be a human manufacture it could not possibly be done by human beings now I'm going to take you to Surah 57 the Quran has 114 surahs. 114 divided by 2 is 57. And 57 is the surah which is in the center of the Quran. And what is the title of this surah? Al Hadid, the iron. Hadid is iron, but Al Hadid, it talks about a very specific iron. But before we get to that very specific iron, we're going to deal with what, why iron is placed in the center of the Quran. On the planet Earth that we live, in the center of the planet Earth is a ball of iron, a solid mass of iron with 760 mile miles in radius which is about 1220 some kilometers the temperature of this ball of iron in the center of the planet earth is about 5700 k kelvin which i will explain what it is it is almost as hot as the surface of the sun this is in the heart in the in the heart of our planet planet earth is made of layers before i go truly and focus on this surah it is good to get a little idea god has given us the internet we can check it out we can really learn a lot by uh, doing some investigation our planet is made of layers. In the heart of it is that solid mass of iron, 760 miles in radius. That's the solid core. Around that solid core is the second layer of the core again, which is uh, nickel and iron alloy it's still extremely hot but it is fluid that solid mass of iron inside of the fluid part rotates the same direction as our planet earth it rotates and the friction that it causes but the speed of it is different than the speed that the planet Earth is rotating. So it creates a friction between the solid mass, the interior of the core, and the exterior of the core. And thus it creates magnetic fields. GPS, magnetic field. The birds that fly, the birds that they migrate, they, they have, God has given them, them, given them the capability to use these magnetic fields. The whales in the ocean, the sharks, the dolphins, the fish, the turtles, they have got uh, ability to somehow use this magnetic field in order to find their ways around. This second part second part the liquid part of the uh, the uh, core is about 1355 miles which is 2180 kilometers thickness after that the core which is two parts the solid 
and the liquid. Then we have the sec the third part layer, it is the mantle. This part is also extremely hot, but not as hot as the liquid part of the core. And it is much thicker. And uh, I like to show you this because this is so extremely important to know. And then on the top of the mantle is the crust of the planet Earth. And the crust is uh, uh, everything that covers the mantle. It is the basins of the uh, oceans and the continents. And uh, basically, we thought, they thought, that the crust of the planet is all in one piece, but it is not so. In here, if you go, it says, the crust is divided into huge plates that float on the mantle. Which is the next layer down. The plates are constantly in motion. The plates are constantly in motion. We're sitting in here, we think that uh, we're not moving, but we are moving. They're constantly in motion. When these plates, uh, plates go side by side, a scrub against one another, they create earthquakes. When they collide, they create mountains. When one of them goes under the other one, it creates the dips. The crust is divided into huge plates that float on the mantle. The plates are constantly in motion. Let me take you to Surat 27, verse number 88. When you look at the mountains, you think that they are standing still, that they are moving like the clouds. Such is the manufacture of God, who perfected everything. He... God is fully cognizant of everything you do. This Quran is 1,448 years in the lunar calendar old. Who knew 1,448 years ago that the mountains are actually moving? 1,448 years ago, this Quran was sent down. When you look at the mountains, you think that they are standing still, but they are moving like the clouds. Such is the manufacture of God who perfected everything. This Quran is coming to us from the one who created the planet and the planets and the universes. He's the one who is knowledge encompasses all things. Now, he says, we have not left anything out of this book. We have not left anything out of this book. Let me take you to uh, the Surah Al-Hadid. Surah 57, that is in the center of the Qur'an and in the center of planet, we have a ball of iron that its temperature is about the same temperature as the surface of the sun and it is 760 miles in radius, 1,220 some kilometers. Let us go to the Surah 57. 57, first of all, is 19 times 3. 
the, the title is Al Hadid, and the geometrical value of this title is 57. That is to tell us that we need to pay attention, very much attention to this number 57. And uh, for your information, the Quran is mentioned in the Quran 57 times. Now, let us read a few verses in this surah. Fifty-seven times three. Go to surah three, verse number three. He's the first and the last. He's the outermost and the innermost. He, God, is fully aware of all things. God is fully aware that the mountains are moving like the clouds. Almighty God says He is the outermost and the innermost. Outermost and the innermost. What is God Almighty trying to tell us? What is He going to tell us from within, within the smallest piece? Who knew then that there is an Adam? And talking about the iron in here. He is the one who created the heavens and the earth in six days and assumed all authority. He knows everything that enters into the earth and everything that comes out of it. And everything that comes from come comes down from the sky and everything that climbs into it. The iron was actually sent down. The iron was actually sent down to our planet. When, when the planet Earth was f forming, it was a, a molten piece. There was no iron in here. God Almighty did send irons. The planet was, this, this molten piece was struck by huge, huge pieces of iron. And uh, then, then, then the planet Earth was increased in volume and was created. And it is what it is. And we are living on it at this time. Al Hadid, Al Hadid, the iron is Surah 57. Hadid is iron. The geometrical value of Hadid is 26. And do you know what this 26 is? Is the number of the electrons. In the in iron, in the in the atom of iron, in the table of the elements, if you if you go to box number twenty six, it says iron. This Quran was sent down one thousand four hundred forty eight years ago, thirteen years before Hijra. Who but God? Who but God knew that iron has twenty six electrons? Is there any other book, is there any other scripture that can give us this kind of information? Not only that, this is not only iron, it is Al-Hadid, Al-Hadid, and the geometrical value of Al is 1 plus 30 is 31. Almighty God is not just talking about the iron only in this surah, in this chapter, it talks about a very specific iron, iron 57. This is an isotope of iron. All the atoms of iron, it doesn't matter what, they have 26 electrons. And the number of the protons in the nucleus is equal to the number of the electrons. So if we have 28, 26 electrons, we have 26 protons. But what about the neutrons? But the number of the neutrons is different. Different numbers of the neutrons, it creates different isotopes. But this particular iron is talking about iron 57, the one that has 31 neutrons and 26 protons. This iron, this isotope of iron, happened to be uh, a very stable uh, isotope of iron. It is non-radioactive, and it does have 
a lot of applications in medical science. It is God's will that the doctors and the pharmaceutical firms pay a huge attention to iron 57. Uh, we know that the uh, we know that the red cells in our body, in, in our blood, the red cells, uh, are the ones that carry oxygen uh, to our entire body. And without it, we can't survive, we can live. And uh, the red cells without iron, they starve. Uh, they, uh, they cannot live, they cannot live without iron. And uh, it is God's will that the Doctors and the pharmaceutical firms pay a very, very much attention to this Iron 57. Iron has 26 electrons. When we read the Surah, we get to Surah 25, not Surah 26, but Surah 25, and let us read the verse. We send our messengers supported by clear proofs, and we send down to them the scripture and the law that the people may uphold justice. And we send down the iron. We sent down the iron. The science proves that the iron has been sent down to the planet Earth. We send down the iron wherein there is a mighty power and many benefits for the people. All this in order for God to distinguish those who uphold, to support him and his messengers and faith. God is powerful, almighty. We send down the iron. Look, 1,440 years ago, this Quran was sent down. Almighty God in this Quran says that we sent iron down. Check it out. The scientific discoveries have proven that actually the iron was sent down to our planet Earth. It was not originally on the planet Earth. And God says, in it there's mighty power and many other benefits. We know already that the magnetic field that the Earth uh, produces is, uh, is uh, helping a lot of God's creation to move around. Iron is one of the three elements that create magnetic fields. And of course, we know that magnetic fields, uh, they have applications in industry, uh, in uh, electrical engineering, in uh, general generators, electromotors. And then uh, we know that uh, the iron alloy with carbon is still revolutionized life on this planet Earth. Without the steel, what could we do? The railroads, the buildings, the machinery. Think about it. Without the steel, what we could do? It is, God says, wherein there is a mighty power and many benefits for the people. In our human body, in, our, in, our, in, in, in us, without iron, we can survive. It's not just outside of us, but it is inside of us as well. But in here, we know that Hadid, the geometrical of Hadid iron is 26. And we know that iron has 26 electrons. But why is it in here, Almighty God did not place this verse in verse number 26? To be uh, perfectly accurate, this, should, this information should have been placed in verse number 26, but you see the verse number is 25. Why? What, you, what else Almighty God is trying to show us in this surah? Why this was not placed in verse number 26?
Now, we're not going to jump into any conclusion, God willing. Inshallah, God willing, we're going to take our time and we're going to explore and find out exactly what's going on in here. Let's look at this verse one more time. In here, and we send down the iron, wherein there is a strength and many benefits for the people. In this surah, the word God, obviously the word God, we're talking about God who is the author of this Quran. This Quran is not a human manufacture, it is proven words from Almighty God. In this surah, the word God is mentioned 32 times. 32 times. Do you know that this word God in this surah, this word God in this surah, in this verse number 25, this is actually the 26th occurrence of the word God in this surah. This is 26. And the number of the electrons in iron is 26. This word God in this surah is number 26. God is not going to leave anything out but they still were thinking, why is it this verse number is not 26? One thing about the Quran that we should, should know, the word Quran starts with the letter Qaf Q. And Surah 50 verse number 1, it says, Qaf al Quran al-Majid, Q and the glorious Quran. This of this Q is so incredibly awesome that with this Q in the Quran, God willing, we will challenge the highest IQs on this planet Earth. Let them all put their brain together and see if they can come and manufacture anything close to this Quran. But now, having said that, let's go back to this this verse again. In this surah, in this surah, we see that there are 19 verses in which the letter of occurs. There are 19. Not 18, not 20, precisely 19 verses in which Qaf, the Q, which is the first letter of the Quran, occurs. When we look at these verses, we see the word God occurs in this, in the above 19 verses, 26 times. In this whole surah. Surah is the bad iron, and iron has 26 electrons, 26 protons. This Quran was sent down 1,400, 1,448 lunar years ago. God is the one who is aware of all things. God is the one who is aware of all things. He is the one who knew the iron that is part of his creation should have 26 electrons in it. And in this entire surah, in this entire surah, only 19 verses that they are coughing up. And this is half of the story because this is so incredibly awesome that I have to give you more information about this in my other videos when I concentrate on the letter of for you to find out how magnificent this Quran is. Now, still, we know God says 26, 26, 26, and we know that iron has got 26 electrons, but we want to really find out what else God is trying to show us in this surah. In here, I'm, going to, I'm having, because it is in Arabic, I'm, I want this for those who want to really investigate. And I'm hoping that they do, God willing, investigate. I'm giving this Arabic text that they can find the geometrical value of the first 25 verses in this surah. From the first surah all the way go, to the, from the first verse all the way to the verse 25 in which Almighty God says, He sent down the iron. And here it says, 
he sends down the iron and Zalim al Hadida well, send down send down the iron. These are the these are the Arabic verses for the sake of people that God willing they should take some time to really investigate to become witnesses witnesses you become witnesses yourselves because people say things and people believe but easily they can disbelieve later but when they themselves seek knowledge from Almighty God when they themselves go and invest some time and put some effort into finding the truth they themselves personally become witnesses when they become witnesses the information becomes theirs it cannot go away anymore that knowledge belongs to them belongs with them let's get back to this 20 verse first 25 verses in surah uh, iron in here now And here, something noteworthy is that in the Quran, we have 6,234 verses. In the Quran, we have 6,234 verses that are given numbers. However, there are 112 verses in the Quran, the opening statements, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim in the name of God most gracious most merciful that these statements for for a very divine reason are not given numbers and Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim the geometrical value of Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim is 786 now let's get back to the first 25 verses in Surah 57. The geometrical value of the first 25 verses, 1 through 25, is these are the geometrical value of these verses. And you have the Arabic text, and of course, these are not so difficult. If somebody, we have the table of the elements, table of the elements, we can find out what element is where, we can find that in the box number 26 is iron. We also have the table of the geometrical values and we have geometrical values for every letter if we have these numbers the geometrical value of the first verse in surah 57 up to 25 in here if we concatenate these verses place them side by side this huge number we see it's not multiple of 19 but the minute we put the opening the statement 786 on the top of it these 25 verses become 26 and you see this number is multiple of 19 786 the minute you put down 786 this verse 25 becomes number 26 and 26 is the number of the electrons in iron this is the number of the protons in iron you see it is multiple of 19 but why why what else almighty god wants to show us in this surah glorious to god praise be to god you place 7 and the 786 as the first verse and then this verse becomes number 26 and you see this number is multiple of 19. the density of iron at 293k is 786 minus 273 degrees is the absolute death that's what call it at this at that temperature at the minus 273 nothing moves even not electrons are going to move 293 is equals to 20 degrees celsius that is what we call it laboratory temperature the density of iron at 20 degrees celsius one one centimeter cube of iron is 7.86 gram 
glorious to God. Who? 1,448 years ago knew that the density of iron is 7.86. 7.86 is the opening statement in the Quran. I take you back to Deuteronomy chapter, uh, the fifth book of Moses, chapter 18, verses 18 and 19. God said to Moses, I shall raise you up a prophet from among your brethren, your cousins, like unto thee, and I shall put my words into his mouth. And it shall come to pass those who do not listen to my words that he shall speak in my name. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, 786. This opening statement of the Quran carries awesome, awesome, awesome proofs with it. Who but God? knew the density of iron. This Quran was sent down 1,448 years ago. Is there such a thing in any other scripture? This Quran belongs to the people who are thinking people. Almighty God says only those who are intelligent will take heed. This Quran belongs to the people of science. This Qur'an does not belong to the ignorant people who are consumed by their own theologies. This Qur'an is without a doubt a revelation from the Lord of the universe. Chapter 32, verse number 2. And we have not said enough yet. Praise be to God, Lord of the universe.